Hello, I'm Declan Curry. Welcome to the online business channel where we find out what successful business leaders think. Welcome to Spotlight. The growth in online communication, and in particular social media, has changed how business shares information and ideas forever. According to recent research by Gartner, 72% of all marketing last year was online. So you'd be forgiven for thinking that perhaps the days of using physical media to engage customers are all but over. Well, you might have to think again. Think of vinyl records. Their sales are booming, so too our sales of books. Physical media is in fact in rude health and is fighting back. And at the cutting edge of this trend and helping businesses better understand how they can use physical media to successfully engage customers is print and direct mail specialist, eight days a week print solutions. Its managing director, Lance Hill, is with me. Welcome to Spotlight. Tell me what the company does. We're a digital print and direct mail specialist. We focus on short to medium run volumes for a mix of customer bases, such as pharmaceutical and healthcare, retail, mail order, and charities. About 90% of what we do is personalized mail, so it goes in the post. It's a mixture of critical communications, so a large portion of what we do for the pharmaceutical and healthcare sector is, uh, I would call it critical because it goes to healthcare professionals, GPs, consultants around the world. Then there's the more marketing and advertising type of mail, which is offers that are highly targeted for the retail type sector. So it's a real broad mix of product type and also volumes. And it's all on paper? Everything we do is ink on paper, but all done digitally, so there's zero waste. Why would you put anything through anyone's letterbox anymore? The digital media channels obviously hit us hard in terms of an industry, but now we get far more cut through on the letterbox than we used to do. A lot of research has been done to actually say that actually because people are receiving less physical mail now, it gets more attention, whereas email has become you know, second nature to swipe left and delete it. So I think what we're seeing now is a big shift is that we're getting far more attention on the doormat. And that's the conversation that you have with your clients. You're not telling them to just do digital print. It's part of an overall communication strategy, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. I think we've, as an industry, we've had to embrace digital because I think it, we, you know, many people say it was a threat when it was first, the internet became big and digital media became big. But we've had to embrace it because it's been proven that multi-channel works together. So you've got cinema, TV, outdoor media, and then mail working with it, you know, even with radio as well. So again, it's proven that multi-channel works stronger. So what sets you apart from others in this sector? What we're very good at is once we've got a customer on board is keeping them. You know, they don't go anywhere else. We're very, very sticky with our clients. And it is about the added value. So what else can we do? We've broadened our services as well. Rather than just being a digital print business, we are now offering lots of other things like design, data, creativity, that kind of stuff as well. So it's about broadening the offering we've got and making sure that we tick the boxes for those customers in terms of what they need and just being easy to deal with. And for a business that uses paper and ink and water and all these other precious resources, the governance of your business is hugely important. It's also an example of where you can have innovation. Absolutely is, yeah. We've invested heavily in new technology that is sustainable. It's using water-based inks, et cetera, and how we handle all of our recycled materials. It is very important also about data as well in terms of how we handle that um, because more and more customers are demanding that we are much stricter about how we handle everything from all of our waste materials and also have a, a good visibility of it as well and traceability of it. So it's really, really important and we are very, very hot on that. What are the most important, the most useful uh, things that you've learned that you can pass on? It's people. I think if you've got the right people around you, it makes life so much easier. I think it's about painting a picture of being a leader in terms of, right, this is the direction of travel that we're going on. This is where we can take this business. This is where the opportunities are and get the people on board with the journey. And I think that is the single biggest thing that makes a massive difference because if you've got everybody pulling in the same direction, it's a damn sight easier to get there. You're still an entrepreneur at heart. Uh, lots of entrepreneurs that I've met over the years have been completely 100% focused uh, on their business. You've taken a broader view and a broader path. You're not afraid to get stuck into sort of wider industry issues. Is that something other entrepreneurs should do as well? Absolutely, yes, I think they should. Um, I'm very passionate about the industry that's given me a good career for over 30 years. Whilst the priority, number one priority, is to make sure our business is, is at its core, 
I like to give something back to the wider industry. So I'm a member of various boards. So I work with the printing charity, for example, and I think there's other boards and councils that you know, other members can be on. I've encouraged other uh, business leaders in our sector to join some councils where you can give something back about training, about development, about bringing new talent into the industry. So it's because I'm very, very passionate about it. I want to see the, the, uh, the opportunities develop for, for young people coming in, but also for other businesses that perhaps got stuck in a rut and, and they, they're not sure which way to go next to help advise them and show them the journey we've been on and show them how it can help them. And this is not industry specific, of course. You know, this could be, you could do this across any sector in the industry. So for me, as a business leader, as an entrepreneur, we should absolutely be doing more outside the day job. Such great insights. Lance Hill, thank you for being with us. And thank you for watching us on Spotlight.